Next is question number 76, which says that if a function fx is defined by fx equal to x minus mod of x minus 2 upon x, then the number of real values of x belonging to the domain of fx for which fx is discontinuous or non-differentiable. Basically, we have to find the number of points of discontinuity and number of points of non-differentiability of the given function. Now, the function can be written as fx equal to for x less than 2, it will open as 2 minus x, right? That is, we get 2x minus 2 upon x and when it is greater than 2, then it will be 2 upon x, right? Now, let us draw the graph of the given function. This is x. And this is y. At x equal to 2, y is equal to 1. Now, the first function is xy equal to 2x minus 2. Hence, we can say that x into 2 minus y is equal to 2. That is, x into y minus 2 is equal to minus 2. Hence, the graph will be plotted against x equal to 0 and y equal to 2. So, the graph is something like this. When x is less than 2. And for x greater than 2, the graph is xy equal to 2. That will be as this one. Right? So, this is the function. So, from the given graph, we can see that number of points of discontinuity is 0. As the graph is continuous everywhere in its domain because x equal to 0 is not in domain, right? And the number of points of non-differentiability is 1, that is x equal to 2. Hence, the correct answer will be option number 2. Next is question number 77, which says that if fx is equal to x plus 3 upon x minus 2, then the line 5x plus y equal to 21 is. Let us firstly find f dash x, which is equal to x minus 2 whole square, x minus 2 minus x plus 3. That is equal to minus 5 upon x minus 2 whole square. Now, the given line have slope equal to minus 5, right? So, given function will have slope equal to minus 5 at x equal to 3 or x equal to 1. Right? Now, let us find the equation of tangent at these points. At x equal to 3, y will be equal to 6. And at x equal to 1, y will be equal to 4 upon minus 1, that is minus 4. So, the equation of tangent will be y minus 6 is equal to m into x minus 3, that is 5x plus y equal to 21, right, which is given in the given question. Hence, the given line is a tangent to fx. Hence, the correct answer is option number 2. Next is question number 78, which says that if yx is a solution of x into x square plus 1 into dy by dx equal to y into 1 minus x square plus x cube into ln x and y of 1 is equal to minus 1 by 8, then y of under root e is right. So, the given differential equation can be written as dy by dx minus y into 1 minus x square upon x into x square plus 1 equal to x square into ln x upon x square plus 1. Now, the given differential equation is Bernoulli's. Now, here let us say p is equal to minus of 1 minus x square upon x into x square plus 1. So, we have to find integration of p into dx. Let us find it. It can be written as integration of x square minus 1 upon x into x square plus 1 into dx, which can be written equal to integral 2x upon x square plus 1 minus 1 by x into dx, which is equal to ln of x square plus 1 minus ln of x, which can be written as x square plus 1 upon x, 
right now integrating factor will be equal to e raised to the power integration of p into dx which will be equal to x square plus 1 upon x now the solution of the given differential equation can be written as y into integrating factor that is x square plus 1 upon x equal to integration of integration factor into this term which will be equal to integration of x into ln x right which is equal to by islet differentiating this and integrating this which will be equal to x square by 2 into ln x minus integration of x square by 2 into 1 by x so x by x can be cancelled so this will be equal to x square by 2 into ln x minus x square by 4 right plus constant now here it is given that y of 1 is equal to minus 1 by 8 so putting x equal to 1 and y equal to minus 1 by 8 we will get minus 1 by 8 into 2 is equal to ln 1 will be 0 minus 1 by 4 plus c these two will get cancelled so we get c equal to 0 right now putting x equal to under root e we will get y into e plus 1 upon under root e is equal to e upon 2 into ln of root e that is equal to 1 by 2 into ln e that is 1 minus x square that is e upon 4 that is equal to 0 right so the correct answer is option number 1 next is question number 79 which says that if a that is 2 comma 1 and c that is 5 comma 3 are the vertices of a triangle abc and the equation of the internal angle bisector of angle abc is x equal to 3 then the coordinates of vertex b are let us say this is the triangle a b c where the coordinate a is 2 comma 1 c is 5 comma 3 right now it is given that the bisector of angle abc is x equal to 3 we have to find the coordinates of vertex b let us say it be a comma b right now we know that in this triangle image of a will lie on line bc and image of point c will lie on line ab right let us say this is the coordinate axis and here we have the line x equal to 3 right so the image of point 2 comma 1 will be 4 comma 1 it will lie on this line and image of the point 5 comma 3 will be 1 comma 3 that will lie on this line right so the equation of a b can be written as y minus y1 is equal to 2 upon minus 1 into x minus 2 that is 2x minus 4 plus y minus 1 is equal to 0 that is 2x plus y minus 5 equal to 0 is the equation of line AB. Similarly, finding the equation of line BC, we will get y minus 3 equal to m that is 2 into x minus 5. That is 2x minus y minus 10 plus 3 that is minus 7 equal to 0. Now, from equation 1 and 2, find the point of intersection. Let us add both the equations and we will get 4x minus 12 equal to 0. That is, x is equal to 3. Putting x equal to 3, we will get y equal to minus 1. Right? So, the coordinate of b, that is a comma b, is 3 comma minus 1. So, the correct answer will be option number 2. Next is question number 80 which says that which of the following statements is incorrect about the function y equal to 3x minus 1 upon x minus 3, right? Four options are given and we have to find that which one is incorrect. For increasing decreasing function, we will find dy by dx, which will be equal to x minus 3 whole square, keeping x minus 3 constant, it will be 3 minus 
3x minus 1 which is equal to minus 9 plus 1 that is minus 8 upon x minus 3 whole square which is always less than equal to 0 hence it is a decreasing function for all x belonging to r hence option 1 is correct to found bounded or unbounded function let us draw the graph of this function right it can be expanded as x y minus 3 y equal to 3 x minus 1 now this can be rearranged as x minus 3 into y minus 3 equal to 8. So, the graph of the function can be plotted as, let us say this is x equal to 3 and this is y equal to 3. So, this is the coordinate x's and this point is 3 comma 3 as the function is decreasing function. Hence, the given graph will be something like this right clearly we can see that the given function is an unbounded curve hence this option is also correct now in fourth option it is said that the graph of the curve lies only in first and third quadrant which is not true because the graph is lying in first second and fourth quadrant hence this is incorrect statements let us check option number three also which is talking about its inverse to find the inverse, let us find x. So, from equation 1, we get taking x common, y minus 3 equal to 3y minus 1. That is, x is equal to 3y minus 1 upon y minus 3. That is, we can say that f inverse y is equal to 3y minus 1 upon y minus 3. That is, we can say that f inverse x is equal to 3x minus 1 upon x minus 3 which is equal to the function itself. That is the given function is its own inverse. Hence option number 3 is also correct. Right. So the incorrect statement is given in option number 4.